Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we will take you to an amazing waterfall, hidden beaches, and a few surprises along the way. So we first start our day off with some tea and a smoothie bowl here. Then we drove to a quiet beach. The drive to the beach was very beautiful. There were rice fields on both sides. Also lots of temples along the way, even a Buddhist temple as well, and just a very beautiful drive. It's a very nice and relaxing drive. Along the way, you see lots of rice fields, beautiful temples, and some really nice scenery. The beach is only about 10 minutes away, and it's a great place to go see some nature if you don't want to drive too far. The beach is called Seisei Se Beach, and a very nice and chill beach. It's a black sand beach, so a bit different than the beaches you see in Changgu. So we just found these chia seed bushes that you found. And yeah, they're cool. You didn't even know, like, they... <laughs> not many people, they know about they Not many people know, I guess. And they grow wild like this on these uh, bushes, are they? And they, yeah, so cool. And you can actually eat them, like the yellow ones. It was really cool to find these chia seeds in the wild. I have never seen anything like this. And it was really cool because you could actually eat them right out of the pod. Then we drove back towards the Minyak. Then we got ourselves some Bisang Aramanis. They are fried rolls with jam or chocolate in the middle. Really tasty. Then we went to a cafe called Ruma Pohan, which means house trees in English. And it did impress. There is trees and plants everywhere you look, including so many birds. It's just a really nice place to eat food. We were looking for some beaches to explore and we found a really nice beach. You have to drive all the way out to Uluwatu, but when you get there, you go to this really nice beach where you can actually swim in these pools. The drive down the hill is pretty steep, so just be wary of that, but it's definitely worth the trek down here to the beach. Very private and mostly only locals know about this place. The beach is called Young Young Beach and it impresses. It's right on the edge of a cliff so you look up and you see a beautiful cliff. Down below you have the ocean and you have quite a while when the tide is out before the waves break. So in between the waves you have these pools where you can basically swim and just relax. In these tide pools you will find many different creatures we saw some water snakes, some shrimp, and lots of fish. When we first got there, it wasn't that busy, but as the evening came in, it was a lot more busy as more people started to come to watch the sunset. Parking is limited here, so if you do want to go to this beach and get a spot, definitely would recommend to come early before sunset. The next day, we wanted to check out a waterfall and we did. We went to this waterfall about an hour outside of Changgu. So the name waterfall is Tegenungan. And we are so lucky to get there because so empty so we can enjoy the moment over there. Also because it was still not too busy, the entry for this waterfall was free. So it's nice to come and visit. Again, that was on the weekday, so it could be different if you came on the weekend. So we're here at Ta Banin Waterfall now here in Bali. And as you can see, there is no one around. It's only us so far. No one even checked tickets at the booth. So it looks like it's free. And you can see how nice this waterfall is. If you look behind us, that is the waterfall there like really big and yeah no one here entirely us so it's really cool to see so as you can see the waterfall here is right behind us and as you can see where there would normally be a lot of people there is no one around and uh yeah looks pretty deserted even the signs back here but uh, yeah, pretty nice waterfall. The area is quite nice. There is a river flowing through and in a typical tourist season, it would be quite busy. We were lucky there was no one else there. When we got there, only when we were leaving, we saw a few other 
foreigners come inside the area. So I am now underneath the waterfall here on the closest that you can get to it without actually swimming in the water. And you can just see how big this waterfall is. It's beautiful, very loud, and very big. You could technically swim in this pool, but it kind of rained here before, so it's kind of muddy. But I think on a clear day, where it didn't rain so much, it would be a lot better for swimming. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely subscribe, like, and comment. And also check out the links in the description. We have some new links there for some things that might help you. If you are a digital nomad, check out the free Bitcoin link there. You will get $10 of free Bitcoin if you sign up. And also check out the other links there as well. Till next time, have a nice day. Peace.